Hey guys, so in this video, uh, we're going to talk about three uh, splitting functions in PHP. So, first, we're going to talk about array slice, followed by array splice, and then uh, array chunk. So, in our first example, we're going to use array slice where um, it takes a minimum of two arguments. So, the first argument would be the array, and then the second would be um, the actual offset that we're going to keep everything in the array uh, starting from this offset. So I've set it up so uh, we actually see what's going on in the array before and af after the slice. So for this first example, um, we're going to say that starting from index 0, we want to keep uh, that element and everything after it. So what we should see is every element return. Yep. But if we only want to keep um, everything starting from 2, which is index of 1, we express it like that. And again, we only want 4, 5, and 6. Just like that. Now, it has two optional parameters as well. So, for example, if I only want to keep um, 1, 2, 3, I would specify the offset, which is starting from 0. I want to keep the first three elements. And if I started from index 3, I want to keep these three elements. Right? And uh, the third parameter, so as you can see, um, the actual key values here aren't actually stored. So there's a fourth parameter in uh, array slice for that. So if we set this to true, It'll actually um, it'll store these um, keys, so sort of preserve the keys. So yeah, that's a um, quick and dirty explanation of array slice. Array splice is um, a little different. So, array splice also has um, the exact same amount of arguments. Uh, first one will be the array, second is the offset, except in this one, from the offset, we, wanna, um, we, we want to actually remove everything starting at that offset, including um, including the offset. So if I actually want only one, two, three, it's actually saying if I put the offset of, of three, it's going to actually cut off this and everything that follows. So here I only see one, two, three. And again, there's a length parameter. So if I want to cut these two values out, I only want to cut two out and specify that with the optional length parameter. So it actually keeps the six this time. Now what's cool about array splice is you can actually um, add additional elements to this array. So let's say um, after the second element, I want to, actually don't worry about this first, so after the second element I want to add an array of, I don't know, there we go, and um, so preceding this index, 
I want to add this array. Um, oh, and again, this is for uh, PHP 5.4 plus. It can also be expressed as that. Um, so yeah, we're saying that we want to actually add these two elements after uh, the index number two, and uh, we don't want to cut out any elements after that. So everything is still in here, and then we have two additional elements. So now if we want to cut out, let's say, number four, which would be the first element preceding these, then we would do yeah. So we've actually cut out so number three. Or sorry, um, yeah, this is no longer within this um, array. And um, to get rid of everything, actually a good practice for this is just to uh, count the array itself to get everything after. So you don't actually have a static number if you add something to the array eventually. So what we expect to see here is after the second index, index two, um, we're going to add hey yo, and then everything after is going to replace. Or not. Okay, so yeah, so even if we add, you know, a couple more elements to this, it's always going to get rid of everything as opposed to putting an actual status value in there. Okay, and lastly, uh, we got a rate chunk. Which is a lot easier to work with. Um, so all we're doing with a rate chunk is we're um, putting in the actual array again, um, the size of the chunked array that we want and then uh, an optional value of preserving the keys like we saw in the rate slice. So in this example, um, let's say I want arrays of two elements. So it's actually going to give me one, two, three, four, five arrays. So in the first array, I'll see 1, 2, second, I'll see 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so on. So yeah, now I have four arrays, and if I wanted to have three elements in each array, I now get two arrays with three elements in each. And um, 
Again, the optional parameter of preserving the keys will actually preserve the keys. As you can see, and yeah, this is again, um, this is all array manipulation, guys. So depending on you know what you're working on, um, they can they can be used. Uh, I've used them quite a few times. I don't have a good example off the top of my head, but again, it's all array manipulation. And um, yeah, just play around with it. Uh, it'll take a while, especially with array splice, to get used to these functions. But uh, yeah, I hope that helped. If you have any questions or uh, have any um, suggestions on this video, please let me know. Thanks, guys.